Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. I'm a little early. Wanted to get on a few minutes early in case anybody had any questions before we start. If you are on and you have a strap, um, this would be a great class to have a strap. If you have a strap or if you don't and you have like a tie or if you have um, a belt, that would work. So I wanted to get on a few minutes early to tell you that. And also, um, if you have a block, you have a block, or if you have a book, if you don't have a block, but try to see if a book could be pretty thick. <laughs> if you have a book just about this size, that would be great. Um, so that's probably like six, maybe four inches wide. I don't know, eight or nine inches um, long. So a block would be great and a strap would be great. So if you are on, can you hear me and see me? I uh, did a little makeshift studio in my home today because my studio was a little cold. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's see, there's a few on. So we're gonna work on the hamstrings today and lower back. So I'll give it one more minute before we begin. Everybody hear me? If you don't hear me, you can comment or just say hi. Good morning. Love to see who's on this morning because I don't get to see who's actually on. So I guess we can officially, because I'm very punctual, begin. <laughs> um, sorry, I have to keep looking because I can't see that far away. Um, oh, you know what? I can increase my screen. That would be much better. There we go. Gosh, I should have this figured out by now. <laughs> So good morning, I am Danielle Sangeeta, and I am happy to be here this morning, little fall cool morning for sure, uh, reporting live from Swananoa, and um, I hope you are doing well during lots of, lots of interesting chaotic times. And uh, we need probably yoga and meditation now more than ever um, to try to stay grounded and rooted into the earth while so much, just so much movement is going on and so much uh, change and um, just fluctuation. And uh, I think my theme for this month and maybe think about this um what your intention word would be for today or maybe for this week would be adaptation and i just feel like each and every day i wake up <laughs> uh i have to remember to continue to adapt um to adapt to what the news is bringing in to adapt to my family's needs, to adapt to my work as a massage therapist primarily, um, 
And I think once you are able to really find that word that resonates right now, for some reason, it just it seems to be like very grounding and settling. Like I know when I wake up, if I can think about adapting to my day and going more with the flow, then the resistance is minimal. The anger, the frustration is minimal. The um, fear and worry is is lessened because I've kind of got into this mindset when I woke up of, okay, what's This is kind of my plan for the day. This is what I have scheduled, but I also know that it's going to ebb and flow a little bit. So before we start our practice, I also want to say that this is also this time of year, as we know, it's fall, and the qualities that come with fall tend to be more um, cool, obviously, and drier. When that happens in Ayurveda, our bodies become more dry and can run a little cooler. So um, I think what I would like to share with you before we start doing the physical movement is there are some nice practices that you can do during this time, especially to kind of keep you more grounded and more rooted and calm, Murph. Um, while fall is upon us. So in Ayurveda, what we like to do is a thing called dry brushing. So you can get a dry brush. You can get those little um, hand exfoliating gloves, which works really well. You can get like a bristle brush that they have just about everywhere in every spa section. They're very cheap and it's really wonderful for circulation for your lymphatic system which can sometimes start feeling a little sluggish as the weather cools Um, it's great for exfoliating the dry skin so that you can allow for fresh um, skin to appear and so the way you can do this is put your gloves on and it's good to do in the mornings if you have time and um, what I like to do is start kind of down by the feet so really it can be very quick you can just kind of like do some nice rigorous strokes look how I'm moving like from the inside out okay so you can kind of like do some scrubbing like this with the dry brush or the dry with the gloves and then kind of pull it up. And the idea is that this is great for the lymph system, great for the lymph system. And I've noticed in my massage practice lately, there's been people coming in with some circulatory and lymphatic stagnation for sure. Um, So this is a great way, just kind of see how I'm moving it up towards the lymph site. This is a big lymph site where things can kind of pull and move out. And then do some nice long strokes. So I'm going to do this quickly. You can always look back. And you can just see, like that's all you have to do on this side. Same on the other side. Start down by the feet. Kind of do some nice vigorous brushing, some strokes. Kind of get the body to wake up. Kind of get the body moving, right? And then just pull it up. Pull everything up towards the heart. Up towards the heart. I'll do this a little quicker so we can get back to yoga but this is really important if you can do this every day or a few times a week do you see where i'm going with this just really drawing everything up towards those hips when it comes to the arms okay same thing let's get some of that dry skin off our hands and then around the joints really rubbing around the joints getting some flow getting some movement just have to do even this works, just long strokes, right? Just a couple little short ones, a couple little long ones. Move on to the next side, round the joints, really getting any stagnation to kind of start moving, okay? So why don't you practice with that? See if you can practice with that. You can even rub around the kidneys, around the belly. It's good for the chest, right? Kind of make sure that's moving well, the fluid's moving well, the lymph system is moving well. And if you do have stagnation, 
or you do notice some swelling or you do notice that your feet are staying colder than usual, then put your feet up against the wall. Just scoot your butt up against the wall. Let your legs be nice and comfortable on the wall and let gravity work. Okay? So that'll be your homework assignment. Give it a try. It's really nice. It's a nice way to do some gentle self-care. So with that said, now if, you, if you've had your legs sitting in a certain way, kind of stretch it out for a moment. Stretch it out. So we're definitely going to work some hamstrings today. A lot of people are maybe sitting and doing more Zoom than usual. So the lower back's getting tight. The hamstrings are getting tight. Good. And then switch and have the more unnatural side be in front. Everybody hear me still? Now let's create some just gentle circular motions. Let's just work on getting that lower back. Feel free to make any grunts, any sighs. Size as an S I G H S. And you can make them small to begin with, and then you can make them a little larger if you want. Just working in one direction. Notice your breathing, breathing in and out through the nose. You can go slower if you need a little more grounding or if you're feeling a little tired this morning, maybe you want to pick up speed a little. Let's do two more rounds. Good. And then go ahead and I'm going to have you bring your legs straight out in a V shape. And have a blanket, if this feels good for you, have a blanket or a pillow, something that you could set your hips on. And take a moment here and just begin to feel the stretch. You can even just feel that naturally right in the hamstrings, right? You can just feel already how they are activated. Slowly, we're going to begin to walk forward. Now, if you're in a chair, you can do all these in a chair. You can just have your hips toward the end of the chair and have the legs out if that feels good. You can do this standing up if this feels better. Take a moment here. Flex the toes. So I want the toes to come toward you. Take a breath, inhale, first bring your hands on your knees, bring the shoulders up, and then exhale, inhale, and exhale, good, and then we're going to begin to walk the hands out. When you do that, I want you to bring your belly out, so like let your belly guide you. Let your belly guide you and go down to your place, your space where you can feel a stretch, but without being uncomfortable. And it doesn't take far. <laughs> when you're doing this intentionally, when you're doing this with your belly first, it ignites the stretch and emphasizes it that you may not go as far as you think. Walk your hands down. I want you to settle into this for a moment. Soften your eyes. Breathe into the space, maybe those inner thighs where you can start feeling the abductor, adductor muscles, start feeling them relaxing a little bit. 
And as you're here and as you're slowing down your breathing, and I even notice how my breath is slowing down, setting that intentional word for today. What is the word for you or a few words that will help kind of reset your day anytime you need it amongst the chaos, amongst the um, busyness, amongst the movement and the flow of change, what's the word that you can settle into that kind of helps you go, all right, I got this. Maybe that's your word. (laughs) I got this. Take another few moments. As you inhale this next time, I want you to lengthen your spine, lengthen, lengthen, Lead with the belly and see if you can fold any bit more. So it's not about how far you go down. It's not about showing people that you can touch your forehead to the ground. It's about what feels good and right for you. Nice. Slowly bring the legs back, bring the legs together, shake them out, loosening them up. Nice. Bring the opposite leg in front, Bring the arms up overhead. Let's do a little bit of twisting again to loosen up the back. Bring the arms up overhead. Let the palms come up to the ceiling. And then bring that left arm forward, right arm back. So left arm is going to come over to that right knee. Right hand's going to go behind. And create this lovely, delicious twist. Breathe. Let the shoulders move away from the ears. Let the spine be long. Good. Slowly as you begin to come back to center, let's inhale, take a nice cleansing breath here, just a nice big breath. As you exhale, breathe out through your mouth to the other side. Bring that right hand over to the left knee. That feels so good this morning. Bring the left arm behind you. And create a twist. Twist first from the belly, then from the ribs. Then from the shoulders. Inhale, begin to come back around. Nice slow inhale and then a really nice big inhale. Exhale, let's do that again. As you exhale, left hand, right knee, right arm behind you. Feel the muscles. Feel the shoulders, feel the lower back. Allow the chin to come in towards the chest and along the spine. Inhale, exhale. We're going to do just one more set. Good. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now go ahead, come back to center, and begin to walk the hands forward. Now, as you walk those hands forward, let the head hang down. Use your hands to kind of gently press the lower back, the glutes, down onto the mat. If you're in a chair, use your hands on your knees. 
and just press the buttocks back into the chair. Let the head hang a little more. Take any of the tension, any of the pressure off the head. Walk the hands back up. <sighs> so good, so good. Okay, so if you have a strap, tie, a belt, <laughs> whatever, a streamer, no, a streamer would break. <laughs> um, and if you're in the chair, you can do this while you're in the chair. Just imagine you're doing it like this in the chair. And then you can be in the chair and you can even hold on to one side and bring that out. So we're going to be kind of working with this either in the chair or on the floor. So make sure you are clear of any things. Excuse me. Okay. I'm going to come onto the floor. Get nice and comfortable. Have your strap handy. So make sure you can see me. Yep. Okay. Good. So allow everything to elongate here. Just allow your body, your spine, allow the spine to kind of reconnect with the earth. Bring the arms up overhead. Take a nice inhale. Good. As you exhale, bring that right knee in towards the chest. Bring the head up if that feels okay. If you're in the chair, you can do a version of this or just bring your knee up. Wrap your hands around the knee. Inhale. Bring the arms back overhead. Create this nice big stretch. Exhale. Bring that left knee forward. So we're just, again, loosening everything up. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And now bring both knees into the chest. Bring your hands out to the side in a T position. And we're going to drop the knees over to the right side. So again, we're going to just work a little bit more on releasing that lower back. You can allow the knees to touch the earth. Let the head come over to the left side. Feel that twist. Great way to get our digestion moving. Back to center. Use your core. Allow the core to do the work to come back to the middle. And then let's work over to the opposite side. Exhale as you come down. Maybe you'll feel a little adjustment. So we're simply... Moving our knees that are at 90 degrees kind of back and forth. And I'd like to do things a couple times because of muscle memory. It's really nice to be able to try it. This is just such a beautiful stretch. Simple, easy. When you're ready, let's do one more side here. Let's one more set. Drop the knees down. Drop the heels down. Let the head come over to the opposite side. Get a nice stretch in the scalenes. Use your core as you come back up. Inhale here. Exhale, other side. Last one. Where do you feel that there's some tightness?
Where do you feel that stretch really working for you right now? Just breathe into it. Good. Come back to center. Plant your feet on the ground. Okay. Bring your hands down by the side. And then we're going to press the hips up. Just gently pressing the hips up. The knees are hip width apart. Your feet are under your knees. Lift up, lift up. If you're in a chair, just create a nice arch, gentle arch in your back. Hold here. Let the chin come down towards your chest to elongate the back of your neck. Don't turn your head. Keep it straight. Slowly come down. Okay. You guys are doing fantastic. Move this back a little bit because I'm a cameraman too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got to laugh. So let's start with the strap. You want to place the strap on the heel. I'm sorry, on the um, toe mounds. So like right about the pads of the feet. So you may or may not see my full leg, but you get the idea. So the the key with this is to have a long enough strap that you can rest your shoulders on the ground. So really the only thing that's working is your hands just to hold it and your hamstring. So just feel this for a moment. Just feel where you, so bring the, your leg down at the beginning and then draw it up, draw it up, draw it up. Where do you feel is your edge? Might be here. You might be able to move it back a little bit. See where it is. If you're not sure, bring the leg back down. Just bring it down. Start over. You want to keep your hip on the floor, the left hip. So you don't want to try to get up higher, but you're bending your knees, your hips like off the ground. It's more about where your edge is. Hold it here. Let that left hip come down onto the ground. Saddle in. Let that heel of the left foot move up towards the sky. So the only thing working is the hamstring and the hands holding the strap. Ease the face, ease the shoulders. Now we're going to take that strap and I'm going to place the left hand. I like to kind of interlace it or just kind of do like a wrap around. I'm going to bring that left leg out. Again, the tendency will be that the right hip comes off the ground. So use your hand, use your right hand and place it on the right hip to bring a little weight to balance. Then you can begin to gently, easily see where it feels comfortable. And you can lift the foot towards you, towards your head, towards your shoulders. Hold here. Nothing is working except the hamstring and then the hands holding the strap. Slowly bring the strap back up. 
kind of release that from your hands. Take it into both hands and draw it again towards you. Draw your leg towards you. Heel up towards the sky. Release the strap and come into half happy baby pose. So a half a baby pose, half baby pose, as you can see. Use your strap if you need. You can use your strap if you can't grab your foot. It's almost like you're doing a lunge, but you're on the ground. Okay, do you see how there is this kind of lunge right here? Knees are bent, knee is bent, right arm, leg is strong. If you can grab on to your foot, grab on to the outside of the foot. And this helps reset the sacrum, helps open the sacrum. And from here, I want you to place your left foot on top of the right knee. So your left foot is on the top of the right knee, and you're going to take that hand, your right hand, and just bring it over into another twist. Keep the left hand as a balance. Come back to center and bring that left leg down by the side. Take a moment, just allow everything to reset. And I'll switch sides so I can do the right side. So again, now we're going to do the right side or the opposite side. doesn't matter what side you start with. Just do the opposite. Pad the strap on the pad of the foot and bring that foot up. Bring the leg up. Let the shoulders rest and just let the hands and the hamstring do the work. Notice if one side feels better, different, tighter, more loose than the other. No judgment. If you're in the chair, just work the same way. And you can start again. Start from the bottom. Start from the floor. Slowly begin to move the leg up. And just notice, notice where it feels like your body naturally wants to stop it there and do so. You can bend for a moment if you want and then even take that heel now and ignite that up to the ceiling. And you can do that a few times if you'd like. Kind of like you're setting that motion to allow the heel to lift up towards the sky. When you do that, you can feel the calf for sure. Enjoy the stretch. Enjoy how it feels on the back, back of your leg. It's like a Hurt so good, but in a let that right hip or that hip draw down, reset. Now take the strap in your right hand, use your left hand as a balancer. And then go ahead and start bringing that right leg 
out. Woo. We often don't sit in a straddle. <laughs> we often don't stretch these muscles, the abductor, adductor muscles that can get so tight when we are sitting in a chair, sitting in a car. If you need the opposite hand to kind of settle that left hip back, then do so. You can begin to draw that foot up towards your head if you want to get a little bit more of a deeper stretch. Let out a big sigh if you want. Bring that back up. One more nice deep stretch here. And then you can bring that strap down if you want into happy baby. So again, it's almost just like that lunge. You're creating this like lunge. And you can, you've seen how babies are when they grab their feet and the outside of their feet and they kind of rock back and forth. So it's kind of like that, just channeling your little child. Keep the left foot really grounded. Good. Excellent work, everyone. Breathing in and out through your nose, being mindful and remembering your intention word for the day. And go ahead and now you're going to place the top of that right foot. And all you're going to do is just um, bring it on to the top of the left knee. Don't put it right on the knee, but like just the top. And then take your left arm, and we're going to create a nice little beautiful twist. Maybe you get a little adjustment along the way. Use your right arm. And if you're in a chair, just create the twist like we did earlier. Feels really fabulous on the QL muscle, which is this muscle that's right here that tends to get pulled. and overwork. Now your shoulder will naturally come off the ground. So, you know, you may want to come back, reset it, and find the spot where you can keep it on the ground and still get a really nice twist. Use your exhale to deepen into the twist a little bit more. Come back to center. Put both feet on the ground again. Oh, gosh. Time's flying. <laughs> oh, okay. Both feet on the floor. Bring your hands down by the side. Now, if you have a block, you can use your block here. And... I would suggest if you have a block or a book, why don't you look to see what I'm doing before you try to do it if you're not sure. So you can take that block and you're just going to place it on the right above the glutes, right above the glutes, right on that sacrum. So now we have a supported bridge pose. This is really nice, opening up the hip, letting some of that blood flow move towards the heart letting some of the lymph system you know reverse motion and for those who've done this before you can stay here you can hold on to that block 
and you can bring your feet straight up. So here's that kind of legs up against the wall. So here's a perfect practice after you do your dry brushing is to be able to like be like this. If this feels unsteady, then you can scoot over to the wall. Or just play with it. Maybe you take one foot and you bring one foot up so you feel more balanced. And then you take that leg down and you put the other leg up. So, so many modifications that you can do. It's fabulous. And then and you could even try if you feel courageous today. It feels so nice on your body, just reversing gravity, letting the organs rest in their position. And slowly allow your legs to come back down. If you have that brick, that block, take another moment in this nice little bridge pose. And you can lift the block up and slowly, slowly, slowly. With each vertebra connecting to your mat, come down. And go ahead and extend the legs out, preparing for Shavasana. Allow the palms to be face up. Connecting your breath. Back to the word that works for you today. Allow the toes, the heels, the calves to soften. Allow the backs of the knees, the hamstring, the thighs to release. Allow the hips, the glutes, the lower back. mid-back, shoulders to melt into the earth. Allow the lips to part the breath to soften. The eyes soften. Mm. 
Letting go of any tension. Feeling it kind of wash off your body. Releasing into the earth. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Creating and staying in this beautiful, sweet bubble, this field that you've created by nurturing yourself, by calming your nervous system, by easing your muscles, by connecting with your breath, by uniting your body, your mind, and your spirit. This is yoga. I encourage you all to stay here if you can. Just a little longer. And when you do get up, to please just move slowly. Allow everything to reintegrate, but at a turtle pace. I thank you all for joining me. Namaste. See you next time.